Taurus, welcome to your reading for February 2023. It's great to see you, my Taurus friends. Taurus moon here. It's great to have you. My cards are getting all, all crazy. We got the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, though. You might feel like... Like, uh, you know, there's there's these opportunities for you, Taurus, but <laughs> as spit just flies out of my mouth, you might feel, like, awkward or, like, <laughs> see how I'm laughing? <laughs> what is that, Cancer? Uh, cancer, I just call you Cancer. <laughs> Maybe you should watch the Cancer reading, because that was a heavy hitter. Oh, my God, did you see that? <laughs> see what I'm saying? What is, what is going on here, Taurus, Taurus, Taurus? Okay, let's fix the cards. <laughs> oh, boy. Look, Knight of Wands at the top, though. So I, whatever you're doing, hey, even if you feel like it's messy cards all over the place, Taurus, do it up. Do it up, man, because <laughs> that's, you know, that's how you get somewhere, okay, with the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. It doesn't matter if it's messy. It doesn't matter if you, if everybody thinks you're weird, <laughs> right? Or what are they doing? I, no, I'm serious. What are they doing? If they're like, wow, you're like, if they're like judging you or they're like, wow, that's weird. Or like, I wouldn't do it that way. Literally just look them right in the eye and just be like, oh, uh, wonderful. What, what are some things that you're working on? Wait for it. Well, I um, haven't really, I have a couple things. I have, a, I, have a, I have this and I have that. and uh, Oh, awesome. How is that going for you? Uh, well, I haven't really gotten started yet. Exactly, Taurus. Exactly. And look what just flew out. <laughs> and they came out in the reverse. So you may have some experts around you, Taurus. Are they really experts? Are they experts? What, what, what? Are, I'll tell you what I think an expert is. I think an expert is somebody that is always working on what they're working on, if that makes sense. Like, I, I'll, I'll just use music as an example because it's easy for me because I'm a musician. I, you know, I'm not, I'm not the best guitar player. I'm, I'm not the best piano player. I have a mandolin over there. I have a ukulele. I just kind of play around because I like it. And, you know, <laughs> I've been around some guitar players, and they're kind of dicks. They're, they're kind of they're kind of dickish, Taurus. And they're like, you know, they think that they're so amazing and stuff like that. And I'm not the best guitar player, but I got heart, Taurus. And and I put out like ten albums, and I've been I've been I've been playing music for years, and I enjoy it, and it's a way for me to express myself. So there might be some quote unquote experts around you, but at the end of the day, the, those assholes that were like thinking that I wasn't as good as them, I didn't, they didn't have one album out. They didn't they didn't collaborate with anybody. They're just dicks. Sometimes people are just dicks, Taurus. You know, just just keep on your merry way. Even cards flying, Taurus. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, but I made a fool of myself. So I I said this to Cancer as well. And shout out once again to Chris Rack because he gave he gave me the idea for this book. It's called Skip the Line by James Altucher, and it's such an inspiring book because basically to sum up like what I've taken from the book is it's like there the only way that you can ever fail Taurus is if you don't try other than that you you he calls them experiments and I like that he calls them experiments he's an Aquarius so makes sense but okay I have too many thoughts going through my head Taurus and I feel like that's what's going on with you crazy that cancer also had this death card so you probably want to watch the cancer reading, even if you don't have cancer in your chart. I am somebody that we have all the energies in our chart. Personally, as a reader, 
I believe that if you watch all of my videos, something will resonate in there for you because what I believe is that the energy is the collective energy and we're just separated into these little quote unquote fragments. Um, anyways, what's center Taurus? <laughs> I'm having a lot of thoughts. <sighs> okay. I have to do this all the time, Taurus, and I'm a Taurus moon, so I think you have so many good ideas, you have so many things you want to do, and maybe that's why you're flustered and cards are going all, all over the place, not because you're not qualified, not because you're awkward, well, maybe you're awkward, I'm awkward, so I don't fucking know, but it's not about that, Taurus, my point is, there we go, thank you, Spirit, talking about James Altucher, he talks about the only way to fail is if you don't do anything. That's the only way you fail. If you if you try something and it doesn't work the way you thought it would, Taurus, or it's awkward and you're throwing cards all over the place, it doesn't matter because you learned something, you did something, you you took something from it. Nothing is a loss as long as we just keep doing what we're doing, right? And that's what I was starting off with. There may be quote unquote experts around you. King of swords and devil in the reverse. Yuck. Probably have absolutely nothing to show for themselves. <coughs> that's what narcissists do. They talk and talk and talk and they have nothing to show for their work. They're just a bunch of talkers. They're a bunch of... Anyways. Love and light. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Taurus, this is a five card spread. Card number one is the main message. Cards two, three, and four are the guidance. And card number five is the outcome if you follow that guidance. Taurus. And if you are interested in getting the extended, if this reading is resonated with you, I now have a new home over on Patreon. You can purchase the Taurus package, which will include your extended for the month. Or if you want to get your sun, moon, and rising, you can purchase the all signs package for ten dollars more and you can get all the extendeds all right Taurus so let's take a look here I feel like you <laughs> this reading is leaning heavy on this transformation energy I feel like the transformation that you're going through without even looking at any cards Taurus is simply like a transformation of how you view yourself and what I mean by that, Taurus, is like when we have confidence in ourselves that we it's it's like somebody who's um somebody who's really confident they don't care like I always think of like Gary V because the guy is just he's just like that. He he doesn't care. He just talks a mile a minute, he just does a bunch of shit. He he does he ha he talks about having confidence in what you like, doing what you wanna do, because at the end of the day, like that's what's gonna get you far. That's what separates the men from the boys, Taurus, is being confident in ourselves, right? It's not about like uh being perfect or looking perfect or presenting everything in a way who the hell does something the first time and they come out an expert right that that's just not that's not life so anyways back to james altucher then we'll get to the first card this is all just intuitive taurus it's it's just about trying your experiments and i said all this to cancer as well i think you guys are going through like a similar thing where you have all these ideas, Taurus, and you want to execute, but there's something about it where you're you feel like you're 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 like throwing cards all over the place. Like you feel like you're either not qualified or you. L let me re uh, restart my camera, Taurus. I'll be right back. Okay, Taurus, I'm back. <clears throat> this is this is so important. <laughs> This transformation that you are going through, Taurus, and I believe this is something that's going to last far beyond February, it has to do with yourself. And, and I, I want to call it self-worth. I guess I'm just going to use that term because, you know, we know what we're talking about when we talk about self-worth. But there's something here about quote-unquote experts around you that think they know what they're talking about. Do, do they have the goods to back it up at all, Taurus, or are they just talkers? That's the first part of the message. The second part of the message is 
It's like, it doesn't, <laughs> it's about confidence. It doesn't matter. Even if you like suck at something, Taurus, which I'm sure you don't, right? But I'm just saying, it's like, even if you do, who cares? Just do it. Because the people that do things, those are the people that do things, <laughs> right it's like the, people can people can make fun of you are they up on stage i always say that like the other night i saw a comedian and like people were, were kind of like making fun of him like it was like silent in the audience and i was thinking i'm like i'm like you guys can like be silent and, and you can like make fun of this guy but at the end of the day you're not up there you're not up there you get up there with your jokes right right Taurus so anyways I'm I'm a big proponent of that sort of mindset where it's like hey if I'm gonna be making fun of somebody I better be ready with my phone with 10 jokes ready to go getting up there on stage and and being better than that guy right okay all right Taurus card number one main message <clears throat> strength card you know what I'm seeing this as Taurus just do it just do it where did I learn this information from? Um, who did I hear this from? I got the Nike logo. Anyway, Taurus, it's not coming in, but I, I have like a thousand examples. What this strength card is showing me is like everything that we just talked about. This is coming through as confidence for me right now. It's, it's not even about if your ideas are good or not, Taurus. It's literally simply the art of doing them, right? Because there's people who do and there's people who don't, right? That's as simple as this message really is. There's people who do and there's people who don't. And usually the people who don't are the ones who like to talk a lot without having any evidence or backing up any of their words or doing, right? So let's, let's be part of the people who do, Taurus. Even if we're throwing cards, who cares, right? That, that's part of being confident. It's like you, you just, you just kind of do stuff and you kind of just move on to the next thing. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's one mess up. It's one blunder. It's one trip when you get on stage. I like to lean into it. I don't know if it's because I have a lot of Leo in my chart or what, Taurus. But if I like trip a little bit, I'll be like, whoa, like, you know, you don't have to be an idiot like me, but I'm just saying it's like there's something about that here, Taurus, where it's like lean into the mistake. Like don't don't let it get to you because, you know, at the end of the day, you're just going to try again. You're just going to do it again. The, the, the people who are who are in the audience, quote unquote audience, right, Taurus, who are the haters or the people who are like, wow, that guy's not funny they're they're not funny they don't have one joke they're just a bunch of assholes that have nothing to say they have nothing to offer they have nothing to back it up so anyways i feel like i'm like your advocate in this reading taurus i'm like because that was a weird combination of cards to fly out the devil and the king of swords in the reverse yuck okay card number two is the guidance taurus there's the devil but you know how I'm seeing this devil? <laughs> I wouldn't mess with a Taurus right now, man. <laughs> I would not mess with a Taurus. <laughs> Especially with Uranus and Taurus. It's literally like <laughs> everything that we have like established. I'm talking like in a, this is the bigger picture, Taurus. This is beyond just what you're doing. And I think it affects us, the people that have Taurus placements, it affects us even more because it's in our sign, right? But Uranus, it's like literally the opposite of being conventional. It's literally the opposite of like what everybody else is doing. So it's like, okay, you might have some really like wacky, cool idea, Taurus. And people are like, wow, that's like really weird. Like, I don't like get it or like... <laughs> like laughing at you or making fun of you or being like you should do it this way and this is why or you shouldn't do that or wow that's really crazy that you thought to do that like I really don't agree with you it's like Uranus and Taurus <laughs> um I would go with the wacky idea Taurus because th that's the thing all the quote-unquote weird stuff that's what's about to be the norm 
This is like, <laughs> if you have a weird idea, Taurus, this is the equivalent. It's like buying Bitcoin when it was at like 30 bucks. Or it's like getting into TikTok or uh, YouTube or a buying Amazon stock before it was a big thing. Like this is, that's where you're at right now, Taurus. That's what I'm sensing with this devil. It's like a devil wisdom. And what I mean by devil wisdom You've been through the devil before. You've dealt with devils. You've dealt with liars. You've dealt with people who put your ideas down. So more than anybody, you have a thick skin. You know how with these two cards together, you have the confidence and you have the sheer raw willpower to get through like anything life throws at you. And so maybe, maybe you feel a little awkward, but who the hell cares? Nobody's going to see your hand shaking when they're all the way in the back. They're at the lat, they're in the back row. They're not going to see your hand shaking, looking down at your phone to check because the guy that I was I was watching, the comedian, the stand up comedian, like he had jokes on his phone and he was like looking down at his phone and he like quickly like scrolled through it and looked to, to look at the joke and stuff. And I was just thinking like, get it, dude. Right on. Like, love that. He's standing on stage. He's looking through his phone. He's doing his thing. Right. Just do your thing, Taurus. Don't, don't. This is about confidence. You are building a sort of confidence because you might think you're not qualified or you might think that you're, you know, for what? Maybe you think you're awkward or something. Who cares, Taurus? That's my point. How, how, <laughs> do you know how many weird eccentric people there are that are like super successful? Like lean into that. that to, in my opinion, the weirder you are, the more eccentric you are, the more interesting. And like I said, with Uranus and Taurus, like not even just Uranus and Taurus, but there's like a lot of stuff that's coming up here, Taurus, in the astrology that is going to literally highlight weird. And if we, if, other people are going to be trying to catch up. They're going to try to become weird, but they're just too damn boring. So the people that came against you and thought you were weird, they're the ones who are going to be wishing they were as weird as you in the next like five years. All right. Anyways, it's kind of like the nerds in high school that like got made fun of. And yet they're like, then, then you find out they're like in Silicon Valley, like developing the next like billionaire app. It's like, you know, Taurus, people can make fun of you uh, now, but they won't be soon. So anyways, card number three, Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> See, they can make fun of you now. They, they won't be when you're sitting on your throne with all your money, right? That's what I'm getting off of that, okay? Very simple, to the point, right in the heart of your spread, Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> And I mean, this is like cap energy here with Queen of Pentacles and the devil. Oh man, you're channeling that earth energy, Taurus. Card number four. <laughs> you're working on your Ten of Pentacles. Cancer got this in their extended too. I'm telling you, watch that Cancer reading. There's a lot of similarities. All I see this as is just you building this. I mean, the, the Queen of Pentacles lives in the, in the Ten of Pentacles. That's where she lives. So like you're living, you're already living in the Ten of Pentacles in your mind. It's just a matter of having the confidence to go for it. That's what I'm getting. That's it. You don't need to change you. The, all, the only thing you need to change, Taurus, is just being more confident. And confidence, I said this is to Cancer as well, it's the confidence competency model. In my opinion, we make the idea of quote unquote confidence way too freaking complicated. Believe in yourself. What if you can't believe in yourself? How do we believe in ourselves? How do we become more confident? This is what I would say to that, okay? The confidence competency model. The confidence competence model. What is that? The more you do things, the more confident and competent you will feel. The more you act on your ideas, Taurus, you will become more confident because of the sheer action of doing the thing, right? Like, say for, take this for example. There is a period of time where you could not have paid me a million dollars to play live music in front of a group, but once I started doing that every single weekend, because I used to play in my parents' church, right? I played music every single weekend in front of a group. I'm telling you, by like 
maybe like by like the 20th time, it just felt easier. And I'm not trying to, you know, confidence, 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 confidence. It's, it's the more you do it, the more confident you'll become and the more competent you'll feel. It's as simple as that. This stuff, man, this is like, it's sheer, in my opinion, success happens when we just have the sheer raw will to continue on, to continue forward. And the confidence even when there are devilish people around us, those people just need to be blocked. Don't, don't let that energy into your field, into your auric field. It's going to muck up your aura. Just sage them the hell out of there. I'm telling you, cut those cords, Taurus. It's not a joke. They're going to get in the way of your ten of pentacles. Well, you know, they're just them, and that's just how they talk. No, not in your presence. Taurus. And that's what this is all about. This is about confidence. This is about self-respect. To quote James Al Altucher again, he talked about, and, and I don't remember which chapter it's from, but he talked in his book about, like, if, if you ask somebody a question and they just, like, ignore you or something, don't let it go. Like, say, oh, uh, were you ignoring me for some reason or did you change the subject for one for one reason or another or can we cycle back around and talk about the thing that I was bringing up we'll talk about what you want to talk about but I also want to go back to what I originally said and not in like a dickish way Taurus I'm just saying I'm telling you man I've read a lot of business books that wasn't too to a lot of successful people and across the board those are the sorts of things that repeat those sorts of messages self-respect having like just the sheer raw persistence to continue forward ha trying things out like james talks about with these experiments this, this book is called skip the line if i didn't already say that and um so yes anyways taurus in conclusion card number five is the eight of wands. This, it's gonna happen quicker than you think. This confidence, it's gonna build upon itself. <laughs> I'm just like channeling this book at this point. <laughs> but there's, an, there's another example in that James Altucher book called Skip the Line, where he talks about compounding interest. And I learned about compound interest when I was in the stock market for like a year or a little more than a year. And <sighs> why was I saying that, Taurus? Yes, compound interest, I'm sorry. I think you're tired as well because I feel tired in this reading and I think you just have like a lot of fast ideas with the eight of wands and it can it can really like burn your brain out and I, I relate to that too, Taurus. You, you know what you're talking about, Taurus. You just, sometimes you just need a minute, especially when you have all these weird toxic energy vampires trying to like steal your beautiful energy. So just block those people, okay. The, the compound interest, and I think he calls it as like 1% rule or something. Um, basically, the point is that it's going to happen quicker than you think, Taurus. Like, if you follow that confidence competency rule and or, or confidence competency model and you just do things and do things and do things, even if you quote unquote suck, even if you feel awkward, it doesn't matter. It's the sheer raw act of just the repetitive action of doing it again and again and again and again. With this eight of wands, what I'm seeing is that compound interest. Once you do it, it compounds upon itself. And by the eighth time you do something, you're gonna be like, hey, this is, this is, uh, this is, it's pretty good. I think I, got, I think I got the hang of this a little bit. That's it. It's not really complex. It's literally just the sheer will. You know what I'm saying, Taurus? And as a Taurus, you understand that. You understand resilience. You understand pushing forward no matter what. You understand holding your position for long periods of time. You understand all of those principles. It's just a matter of putting them into action not letting people get into your head and believing in yourself. That's it. So much love, Taurus. If this reading has resonated with you, I'm going to go over and do the extended over on Patreon. I'd love to have you join our community on Patreon. It's patreon.com slash the metamistic. You can purchase the Taurus package if you want to get your extended for the month of February and all the other months. 
Also, if you would like to get your sun, moon, and rising, you can purchase the all signs package, which is $10 more and it's for all the signs. So much love, Taurus, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.